Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to install a follow me on Twitter button on your WordPress blog, in the sidebar of your WordPress blog. Now, it's easy enough to um, install your Twitter feed in your WordPress sidebar. That's really simple. You just go into your dashboard, and then you scroll down until you come to appearance and then you click on widgets and then what you do is you scroll through all these different widgets until you find the one that says Twitter there it is you just grab it and you drag it and drop it oh, you have to scroll up <laughs> Drag, 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 drag. And you drop it right into the main sidebar of your blog. And then you can put a title in there, and your title will be um, Recent Tweets, your username. And you can modify this, say how many tweets you want on there, all those things. You can hide replies, you can include retweets, whatever you want. Then click Save. And when you close it and then go out and look at your blog, and here are my latest Twitter updates right here installed in the sidebar of my page. Now, uh, that's great, but there's absolutely nothing in here that allows people to follow me on Twitter. And so people can read my tweets, but they can't actually follow me on Twitter because they have no idea what my uh, Twitter handle is, what my username is. So what I want to do is I want to put a little button here that says follow me on Twitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the the dashboard. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install a follow me on Twitter um, badge in the sidebar of your blog. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to get into widgets again um, and scroll down until you find the text widget and grab that and drag it up into the sidebar. Now, I'm going to include a little piece of code in the um, body of this email that I have right here. I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it into this widget. We can call this follow me on Twitter. Okay. Now, each one of these things that are in capitals are things that you have to change and modify so that it works properly. So the end URL, you're going to type in http colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash your Twitter username. So mine is Rebecca Coleman. Okay. Um, in terms of image name, you can just write Twitter in there. It doesn't really matter all that much. And where it says rollover, I would write follow follow me on Twitter. Okay? Whoops, I spelled Twitter wrong. <laughs> now, the next thing we have to do is we have to actually find an image that says follow me on Twitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google Images and I'm going to do a search for follow me on Twitter. And there's lots of them to choose from, lots and lots and lots and lots. I'm going to use this one just for fun. Um, and what I'm going to do is when you, what you, when you find it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, right mouse click and I'm going to click on copy image location. Now I'm going to go back to my blog and back to my widget and right here where it says image URL, I'm going to copy, I'm going, sorry, I'm going to paste that information right into there. All done. Save close and let's have a look. Look at that. So it says follow me on Twitter and when you click on the image it takes you to my Twitter stream where people can then follow me.